So the typical day starts around 8.30 and oftentimes there's morning interdepartmental rounds that uh, residents and uh, staff attend. And then uh, from there we receive our uh, set of cases for the day. Residents will go through that individually and then sometime in the afternoon we'll get together with the attending pathologist that they've been assigned to that week and go through the cases one-on-one -on -one with the pathologist and it will show them the reports that we have written up and we'll get feedback from the pathologist and make any corrections and after that we sign out the cases and then uh, we get a new set of cases to prepare for the next day. As a junior resident, during the teaching sessions, you begin by describing cases for the group, and then uh, you pass the tough stuff on to the senior resident. Um, that way, everyone is comfortable with each other and you get to build confidence during your training. Uh, the learning environment is very supportive, non-punitive. It's all about um, building confidence for independent practice. Our program offers a wide variety of educational opportunities to our residents from tertiary centre experiences to rotations in rural and community settings. We have an excellent, highly trained, dedicated teaching faculty, including some nationally and internationally recognized experts. And we also have a mentorship program. Each resident has a pathologist as a mentor who is available for guidance or advice when needed. So I'm, I'm a neuropathologist and clinician scientist. I uh, developed the uh, resident journal club. Residents are expected to do an online training course in research ethics. Being a pathologist, we are able to reach a definitive diagnosis for a clinical process. And I always consider pathologists I, this job as like a detective. So it's like we are going to find the truth we are going to find a, a big treasure in a kind of in the sea. We have a highly diverse, respectful and collegial group of faculty, residents and administrative staff. So we've worked very hard to improve the diversity of our intake of students and I think that's been very successful. Uh, we are also working to increase the diversity of faculty and staff and uh, most recently have established a lead or an office uh, for EDI uh, and are working hard at things like implicit bias during search committees uh, to improve our performance overall. Here in the program we also have access to high quality educational material including a simulating lab and digital slides which have been excellent learning tools for the residents. Uh, so that means that we have a really palpable community feel, um, teaching sessions are very interactive, everyone knows who you are, um, including the staff, and you aren't just a face in the crowd. Um, the staff know all the residents by name here. The advantage of being a relatively small program is that it gives us the flexibility to make a quick responses and policies to meet each resident's needs. The thing I love about Winnipeg is people are really friendly here. Everybody says that about their town, but it's actually true here. I love the uh, environment, uh, especially in summer. Uh, I come here, came here with my family uh, and um, uh, we have been enjoying uh, the warm weather, going to the beaches. Our residents have no problems finding jobs or fellowships after graduation. Some of our former graduates work with us, others find jobs in other Canadian centres, US or even in New Zealand.